eyes up here. Up until now, you've been a bunch of puny, useless little slaves to power my enterprise. But tonight is the most important night of the year. It is Halloween night, and the time is currently 11.35 p.m. And when the clock strikes 12, we need to make sure that these Christmas decorations and sale prizes are on the shelves. But sir, don't you think this is a little fast? I mean, I might be new here, but like, I don't think people will buy Christmas lights at midnight. Here in the retail business, we do something we like to call holiday exploiting. Now, people love the holidays so much that they'll get it as early as possible. AKA, they'll buy stuff as soon as it's readily available to them. So what do we do? We exploited. It. Exactly. Now, onto your boxes! Get ready! Yes, my lord, I mean, sorry. Go! Hey, 30% price reduction on that turkey! Just get the holiday game toilet paper! The guests are here. Money time! Ladies and gentlemen, the store is... Ah! Oh, 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 but no, stay away from the sense of blame. Don't just buy stuff. Buy stuff. Come in, Santa. You need to do another shift. What? Another shift? I had one like three weeks ago. I'm sorry, it's crunch time. No, I know it's crunch time, but like, it's literally the day before Christmas Eve and we're shipping. Like, now. I don't care, can you do eight? Uh, eight's okay with me. Eight uh, would be nice. Eight, eight, eight. Anyway, gotta go. Toodles. Seriously, Santa and Jeff Bezos are just controlling the Christmas economy and not even doing anything to their workers. Anyway, who is next? Okay, we've got a gym in North Carolina. No criminal activity. Um, he hasn't done anything concerning. He has watched Five Live this year. That is very good. That'll bump up his record. Okay, so you are nice. Okay. in basketball and a book. Alright. Sarah, ship that present off to Oregon. Wait, no, sorry. <laughs> it's been a long work day. North Carolina, please. Thank you. Uh, who is next? Okay, we've got Tim Robbins. No criminal activity. Okay, this is promising. Nothing to be concerned of. Oh, but didn't want the great scavenger hunt this year. You know, you were destined to be the best. Anyway. You, sir, are naughty. Okay, and... Oh, no. <laughs> Not Timmy Bobbins in On the Gold Coast. Uh, Tim Robbins. No. Not Timmy Bobbins. Auto-correct. Uh, settings. Uh, terminate. Inspect source. Auto-correct. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off! Tim Robbins. Tim Robbins. No. Tim Robbins. Tim Robbins. Tim Robbins. Oh my god, no, not Timmy Bobbins. Tim Robbins. No, no, no. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this. this year to me. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Christmas edition of Countdown. Now if you're just joining us after the break, then we are doing a very, very hard activity. This group over here has to try and eat their Christmas dinner without erupting into a political conversation. Mm. I know, very difficult. 
this is one of the most challenging, most hardest things they've ever embarked on in their entire lives. But do not worry, there is a substantial cash prize of zero dollars on the line. Wait, I can't say that. Now, it's time to ask them if they are ready. Are you ready? We're good. To excellent, excellent. Now, let the clock start! And there you have it. The movie is finished. You have watched three incredible, hilarious, breathtaking, cinematically flawless masterpieces of cinema. But unfortunately, the ride is over. Thank you for taking this journey with us as we explored the world of capitalism, the world of behind-the-scenes action when it comes to wrapping Christmas for presents. Pardon me, sir. <coughs> Stop drinking that bourbon. <coughs> and, of course, you've seen what happens at the dinner table in a more satirical fashion. I think that's, that's what the script says. Wait. Uh, sorry. If that's what it says, I can Sorry. <clears throat> I am from this part out. <clears throat> and this has been a crazy Christmas. <laughs>